Hello, my name is Stephen Thomas and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at a brand new feature in Logic App Standard that allows you to export a Logic App Standard and all its workflows that you've created inside the Azure portal down to local VS Code. This is a super great feature because if you're like me, I tend to do a lot of development in the Azure portal. And this is a super easy way to get all that content down locally so then you can check it into source control. So let's take a look at the code. I've logged into my Azure account and I've just went to one of my Logic App standard workflows that I used in another demo. You can see here that this is one core Logic App and inside here I have a few different workflows. Let's see how we could export all of this to our local environment. You simply go to overview and then here under this top menu you would look for download app content. If you don't see it, make sure you click the dot, dot, dot and select it from that drop down list. I'm going to select download app content. And this is going to download all the contents of this logic app inside a zip file. Once that's downloaded inside a zip file, I'm going to jump over to VS Code. So I'm now in VS Code and let's take a look at how we import that zip file. I'm going to go to my logic app extension and over here under the logic apps workspace menu i'm going to select create new logic app workspace from package now if you don't see this selection here in your drop down menu you might not have the latest edition of the logic app standard extension so this was relatively new released january february time frame so if you haven't updated your extension since then you might not see this so simply update your extension and here i'm going to browse and select that zip package and now I'm going to walk through a series of steps of importing that zip package. It's first going to import it into a traditional workspace in VS Code, and then it has to copy everything into a specific Logic App standard workspace. So it's going to seem a little bit repetitive, but let's just walk through it step by step. So I'm going to browse where I want to save this package. I'm going to say it here and call it downloaded Logic App and need to give it a workspace name, downloaded logic app. And give the logic app a name. And gonna say open in current window. And now it's gonna prompt me here, telling me that I need to copy the files into a new project and going to say yes to go ahead and do that. I'm going to browse where I want to save the new project that is going to copy it to. I'm going to copy it back up here and just create a new brand new project up here called Logic App Q Demo. And let's save it there. And I got to do the same thing again. Give it a workspace name. Logic App Q Demo. And now it's copied everything over into this new workspace that is now a Logic App Standard workspace. So you can see here, here's my workflows that we saw inside of the portal. These are all downloaded and I can access them here. My connections file, which contains connections to queues, were all imported as well. And you can also check the local settings where it has pulled down local values that we can use for communicating with the queues as well. So all in all, this was a pretty simple way to take work that may be done in the Azure portal for Logic App Standard and export that whole Logic App and all of its workflows down into VS Code. If you like this video and like other videos on Logic Apps and AI inside of Azure, make sure you like and subscribe and follow my YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.